in simple layman way desktop agent is a component which is also uh, part of SAP build process automation that is installed in installed locally locally means in your laptop or in a Amazon machine or in a remote desktop in your computer it execute automation project that launch and run application of various kinds of uh, redundant task or boring human tasks like reading information from screens entering some screen data clicking some button processing data projects are assigned to a tenant running on desktop agent so we have to uh, basically register this agent with our bpa environment and then projects will have access to this agents so you can see your desktop agent is doing what it is doing all time because you also need to be you know you your laptop might have some sensitive data some password files so you wanted to be very sure what this agent is doing in your laptop yeah? what kind of things it is accessing what it is doing in your laptop often it is usually not installed in a developer's laptop often it's installed in a remote desktop remote machine in your computer in your company at a company level there will be a remote machine that will have all the files and things there you will usually install it yeah and uh, what you can see you can actually check the system tray sys tray in your windows laptop to see uh, whether the desktop agent is currently ready and active and it is listening to or connected to any bpa project or not when installed the desktop agent is uh, when 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 it is installed the desktop agent is configured to start the windows login automatically you should not change this setting because agent might be assigned to some background task or a job which can run any time it's called unattended execution so there are three modes in which broadly this agent run attended mode unattended mode and rdp mode so uh, we will preferably keep this uh, agent into unattended mode remember that very important to let it take the work from build B bpa to cloud factory cloud factory send the work to this it will finish the work and get back the result to you the very first time when you launch the desktop agent in your workstation you will be prompted to log in to your btp account to bind this agent with your btp account cloud cloud uh, factory if you are unsure of your login detail please ask your user id password your btp account password to your administrator now there is also a guide given here how to configure so let's start the configuration i referred this guide this guide link i have put in here but i will show you the step by step process of configuring this rdp agent so let's start a step by step process of how to set up the rpa desktop agent in our laptop to do boring repetitive tasks and there will be many use cases we will be learning in coming episodes of this training so step number one we need to download the the desktop agent or also known as rpa agent yeah you can call it anything you want desktop agent rpa agent robot many names yes the version which we are currently using is version 3.0 which is latest which works pretty well with sap btp build process automation so precisely 3.0 and above so maybe the by the time you're watching this video training the version might have upgraded so i will give you the link where you can go and download it so you have to go to link called https tools.hana.ondemand.com slash hashtag cloud that is the link you need to go so let me open this link for all of you and show you downloading and installing this agent in my laptop after that i will show you configuration also so i will head over back to this link so now we are going to learn how to download the agent the desktop agent 3 which is the latest version of desktop agent for robotic process automation with sap build process automation so now you can see we go to tools.hanaondemand.com hashtag cloud and here we see SS, sap process automation desktop agent for trial so we are going to go here and it's right now only available for windows so i'm going to click on this exe and accept the agreement to download the same and it's now getting downloaded to my laptop so once it, it gets downloaded to my system i can double click to begin the installation of the rpa agent so this agent has to be installed in the machine 
where we would want to run the automation from so that is why this agent is needed so i will install this agent now you can see it has come up with version 3.3.32 so while you are watching this video it might change so you always have to go back to this link which i'll put it also in the ppt i click on next button and the installation is pretty simple like any other software for your computer and the installation will get over in just few seconds with your desktop agent so it is running in so now you can see the desktop agent setup has been completed successfully i will finish that and then i will have my desktop agent ready which we need to configure now so if the installation is complete right at the bottom on your task bar you will see this desktop agent has been added then you need to register it with your account you see currently it is disconnected it's not connected to any of the account any of the btp account so what you need to do is click the cloud icon click on add tenant button and give some name let's say anubhav btp and now we need to enter a url yes so we cannot have a special character it's okay so this url where do you get it from so you have to go to the agent option in the control tower it is detecting if the agent is installed in your computer if yes it will give this screen yeah last time it was giving me a different screen where it was actually uh, giving me kind of an uh, issue to install the agent now it detected the agent installation so you can register and you get this url yeah so copy the link to uh, this uh, uh, you know to put it in the tray so i say copy and close i will go back down again open the agent and put the link for domain click on save you see now it's validating and if you go back to home page it's still disconnected which is okay and now what you need to do is just click on refresh here on items let's see what happens yeah so it should show the agent in a in a minute so you have to also click the activate button so let's go back and here we have an option to activate so click on okay and it opens the btp account login token it authenticates me again on btp so i will enter my btp account credentials again so it will bind to my btp account yeah, it's a easy process just a couple of steps are there if you follow these steps it's super easy to configure this agent so you can see it is just trying to connect to my btp account to authenticate my btp account i will log in and then it will basically get kind of an auth token from my btp account to register with my btp account that is what it will do so i will use my s user id because i have multiple accounts associated to my universal id and you see login is successful so the moment login is successful if you go back to agent at the bottom you can see it is connecting yeah and in just few seconds it will show us that it's active now fabulous fantastic so this is how we install download and install the desktop agent and then we connect it to our btp account and then we can click here to say register the agent okay it's already there and we should be able to refresh and wahala you can see the agent is now available here on my btp account now this agent needs to be also added to our environment so our environment can utilize this so i'm going to go back go to environment and in the environment public environment we are going to make sure that this agent is added as well here this is very much important yeah so add the agent and you see this is the agent which we just gotcha i have one agent and i will add that agent to my environment so that this agent can listen to the incoming request for any kind of automation yeah so that is the process we create uh, installation of the desktop agent we configure and connect it with our btp account and then finally we add it in the control tower and finally we add this agent into the environment so this is the process in sap btp 
configuring the desktop agent for automation okay so now the next thing what you need to also do is set the mode for this agent so go back to your system tray and you see the agent is there so you have to go to system this uh, you know this uh, setting icon here and click on mode and then make sure that currently unattended mode is paused so we have to activate this so you have to click on activate and it becomes active so don't activate attended or rp rdp mode go with this unattended mode in the active state yeah so now it's active and you can go to home page to see it's currently idle connected to the tenant but waiting for project to be loaded so any project it's waiting for some project to come and talk to you yeah. you can also see the logs any calls which has come so i was using this agent since a uh, few more days like you know i just did the installation for all of you but before that i installed and you know just to show you the whole process so all the logs are preserved so that is the setting you need to do